Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Now today I'm looking at RetroPie 4.6, the newly released version with compatibility for the Raspberry Pi 4. So you might be asking, what is RetroPie? Well, to summarize, RetroPie is a collection of emulators wrapped up in a user-friendly interface that's navigable by joystick. Up until now, there was no support for the Raspberry Pi 4. So now these are exciting times for the Raspberry Pi 4. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install RetroPie 4.6 on your Raspberry Pi 4. So the first thing you need to do is make your way down to the RetroPie webpage and download a copy of RetroPie 4.6 for the Raspberry Pi 4. I've left all links in the description below. Now this should take a few minutes depending on the speed of your connection. Once the zip file is downloaded, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi imager to transfer the image onto my SD card. So I select Use Custom and navigate to where I downloaded the RetroPie zip file. Then I choose the SD card where I want the image burned to. And that's it, RetroPie imager will do the rest. And it should take about 5 minutes to transfer the image onto the SD card. Now once that's done, transfer the SD card to your Raspberry Pi and watch it boot up. Now I've got my PS4 controller plugged in via USB, but any controller can be used via Bluetooth or USB. And it'll be auto-detected by the Raspberry Pi software. Now the first boot is always longer than normal. Now once it boots up, you'll see something similar to this screen. The only difference is you won't see any of these games or the emulators, as I've already set this system up. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Now what you will see in a newly installed system is the RetroPie menu. Just click on it. Okay, so RetroPie comes with no emulators installed. You need to install them yourself. Just make your way down to RetroPie Setup. Now on the next menu, scroll down to Manage Packages and select. And then select Manage Optional Packages. Okay, now in this menu, you can select all the emulators you want to download and install onto RetroPie. Now, as you can see, I've already installed the PSP emulator. And I've also installed the Super Nintendo emulator. So as a quick example, I'm going to show you how to install an emulator. Just select the emulator you want, and in this case it's apparently Laserdisc. And then select Install from Precompiled Binary, and say yes. It shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes to download and install. Then just make your way back out to the main menu, and reboot RetroPie. Now once RetroPie boots up again, you'll find that it's done something quite clever. It's actually created a folder structure for all your emulators. So if you shut down RetroPie again, and remove the SD card and put it in your PC, you should see the following file structure. And what you need to do is place your games ROMs in the corresponding folders below. So in my PSP folder I've got all my games. And the same goes for my PlayStation 1 folder. Now once you've got all your folders populated with all your games, pop it back into your Raspberry Pi 4 and boot up. And what you'll find is that the games will appear under their emulators automatically. So what are the games like? Well let's take a look. So these are my PlayStation games. Now you saw how Tekken played in the beginning of the video, so let's try Street Fighter. Select your character! Okay, after that performance, let's try Metal Slug. I must say, this reminds me of the arcades. Okay, let's give Tekken 6 a go on the PlayStation Portable. Round one. Fight. Now what I can say is that everything running on a PlayStation Portable runs perfectly smooth, no screen tearing, no stutter. Okay, so next I'm going to try the Nintendo 64, and I'm going to try Mario Karts. Again guys, the sound and graphics perfect, no problems at all. Okay, the next game I'm going to try is on the Super Nintendo, and I'm going to try Street Fighter. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay guys, now there's a lot more to Retropie than meets the eye, and I couldn't really cover everything in this video. But I hope this video serves as a good intro to the Retropie scene. So if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and maybe even a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.